everyone, this is a teaser video for my upcoming electricity and magnetism part of the Physics is Universal series. The main video will be out soon. So, as I was saying, this is a teaser video for the Physics is Uni for the electricity and magnetism part of the Physics is Universal series, and that video will be out soon. Um, this is I, I I want you to pause this video and watch the original video of the electric fence experiment. I put it down in the description. Um, you need to watch that video. It's a short video because uh, without that you won't understand what I'm saying. You need the context. So uh, please watch that before continuing on. So now I'm assuming that you watched that video. So let's get into it. So a few days ago, I saw that video about it and thought it was very, very interesting. I didn't really understand it, but I did some more in-depth research and I found out one key principle in electricity that explains this and also explains why birds don't get a shock. The key concept here is that electricity wants to move in a circuit. In this case, the electricity from the fence wants to get to the ground to complete the circuit. That's it. Now, electric fences are very effective because most people or animals that are making contact with uh, uh, making contact with the fence are also probably touching the ground with little to no in little or no insulation at all. And because they're touching the ground, the electricity can go and complete a circuit to get into the ground. The way it goes is this is the electric fence. It goes into through the person's body and into the ground. Thus, it completes the circuit and you get electrocuted. But like in this video, if you're standing on a plastic stool, the current will not be able to get to the ground. Plastic is an insulator, which means that electricity has a very, very hard time traveling through it. A conductor, the opposite, is something that allows electricity to pass through it. So a very good ex um, example of conductors are many metals. Why a bird does not get a shock when it touches an electric line is also very similar. Electricity does not reach the ground because the bird is not touching the ground. It is only touching the wire because it's perched on the wire. Thus, it does not complete the circuit because it does not, yeah, it does not complete the circuit. If a human could balance on a live wire, nothing will happen to them. So long it does not touch any conductor or the ground. Um, disclaimer, I do not condone anyone doing this. You can get injured if you do this and please do not do it at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little teaser video and please be on the lookout for the electricity and magnetism part of the Physics is Universal series. Thank you and K285 out. See ya!